Thick Leonza has said a mouthful of back-to-back -back insults to slim people just because they are not her body size. She did it again these past days and even if it was not offensive, tips were aware of the attitude beforehand. I see skinny people tweeting about eating KFC for breakfast. No one will say anything about their health. But let me talk about craving chocolate at 8 a.m. Then everyone is a doctor who is worried about my health. Please get TFOH, she said. Hi, T-Squad, and welcome to the T-World. On the other hand, T-Squad, Simpiwa Dana's tendencies to tag along tweets got her in trouble as well. Tweets accuse her of dissing slim people as well. Some of her fans believe she needs to be handed the handbook of how to behave as a celebrity since she has been all over the place lately, offending her fans. After referring to people who are slim as skinnies and accuse them of dying with lung and liver diseases. The way skinnies are dying of liver and lung problems at that time, Simpiwe vented. Her fans confronted her back and forth and this is what the other one said. Just because you also identify as skinny, you believe so strongly that grants you the right to talk down on skinny people. You better than that. Do you understand that we admire you and we see you as role model? When you body shame, what do you hope to achieve? She asked. Huh? This is such a double standard comment. Why body shame anyone skinny or not, thick or not, fat or not? This comment was so unnecessary, especially from Omund Omdala that could be the voice of better reasoning, added another trip. One trip proceeded to call her shapeless. A T-squad was a simple Dana wrong for referring people of slimmer body shape as skinnies. Others say if they were to refer to people who are thick as fetties, it would have been regarded as a body shaming error. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.